In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use level of detail calculations for year-over-year -year comparisons. The beauty of level of detail calculations is that I can always return the latest year. So let me show you an example. First, I'm going to drag order date to the rows so we can just see a list of our years. And I'll just go ahead and put sales on the text shelf. To get the latest year, I'm going to create a simple level of detail calculation. I'm going to create a calculated field, and I'm just going to call this latest year. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the level of detail calculation, which is the max, parentheses, the year of my order date. And then I need to close the parentheses and close the level of detail calculation. Now what this does is, that because I didn't include anything at the beginning of the level of detail calculation, what Tableau is doing is it'll scan the entire data set and always get the latest year. So I'm going to hit OK. And notice how Tableau puts it down here as a measure. But I'm just going to drag that up as a dimension and then put that in my view. And you'll see that ir irrespective of the year, I always get 2015 for my latest year. OK, so from here, I can create a calculated field that is my latest year sales. And in this case, what I want to do is I, is I want to say if the year of order date is equal to my latest year, then give me sales, else, zero, end. Hit OK. And then let's drag that into the view. And you'll see we only get the sales for 2015. So perfect so far. So now what I need to do is I need to get the prior year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my latest year calculation and then edit it. And I'm going to call it prior year. In this case, I'm just going to leave the calculations the same and then just subtract 1. So now when I put prior year in the view, you see how it says 2014 everywhere. That's great. So now I need to get my prior year sales. So again, I'm just going to duplicate my last year sales, edit it, call it prior year sales. And in this case, all I'm going to do is replace my latest year with my prior year. Hit OK. And now I can put prior year sales onto the, onto the measure value shelf. And you'll see I get that value there. OK, great. So now I can go ahead and take year out of the view. I was just leaving that in there so you could see what it was doing. And I could take sales out of the view. So next, I want to create my year over year calculation. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm just going to call it year over year change. Or maybe I'll do CHG to make it short. In this case, I'm going to do the sum of my latest year sales divided by the sum of my prior year sales and then subtract 1. Hit OK. And then what I want to do is I'm going to change my default number format to maybe one decimal. Drag that into the view. And now you can see that 2015 was 8.2% 8 above 2014. So if my data set updates and it starts to include 2016, these numbers would dynamically change. My latest year would become 2016, my prior year 2015, and so on. So that would work perfectly. That's one of the great benefits of level of detail calculations. So from here, what I might want to do is let's go ahead and uh, let's put region in the view. And we can see that some of them are up and some of them are down. I now no longer need my latest year and my prior year in here, so I'm going to take those out. And then maybe I'll take my latest year and make that a bar. I'm going to drag my prior year to the detail. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a ref cell level reference line to make it like a bullet graph. I'm going to make a prior year, make it a nice black line, untick the show recalculate. OK, so now I can see which ones are above or below. I'm going to go ahead and take my year over year change out of the view. Or actually, let me go ahead and I'll just stick it on the detail. That way it's in the tooltip. So what I might want to do here now is create a, um, an alert. So my alert is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to say, is my year over year change less than or equal to zero? Actually, I'm going to say, if my year over year change is less than or equal to zero, then. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to Google. And I'm going to go to the, uh, the I'm going to go find an ASCII circle. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Paste it in. Otherwise, I want to get a blank and then end. So this is just going to return a little ASCII symbol. 
and you'll see it's here. I'm going to stick that next to region. And you'll see uh, the ones that are, that are down versus prior year, I get a nice little alert. So I can go ahead and format this. I'll make it nice and big, maybe make it 14 point, make it red, and then I'll go ahead and center it. All right, so that's great. So now I can see which ones need attention. And I can even make this column a little bit more narrow if I, if I choose so. At least I should be able to. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So now that doesn't really take up a lot of space. And I could easily swap this out or add in other dimensions. So I could put in my order priority, and you can see things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and update my axis to get rid of that. And OK. All right, so that is a really, really quick way. And I could even put alert on color. Let's see what happens if I put alert on color. You'll see I could, I could make it work that way as well. Maybe I'll make this one red, make the other one gray. Oops, make this one red and make the other one gray. OK, so now you could, you could continue to use color that way if you like. I don't particularly like that, so I'm going to take that off. All right, so um, hopefully you found that useful. Again, the, the whole trick here is to just use a level of detail calculation to uh, compare your latest year and your prior year, and that will always update dynamically. So hopefully you found that helpful. Um, actually, one last thing I would probably do is put my latest year into my uh, my detail or on my tooltip, either one. I know I'll just stick it on the detail. Let me take that off. Put latest year on detail. Put prior year on detail. And then what I probably do on my tooltip is I would go ahead and under my latest year sales, I would actually insert my latest year. So this will now say 2015 sales. I could put prior year here to say 2014 sales. Get rid of those. And then maybe put, uh, you know, reorganize it a bit. And maybe my alert, uh, do I need my alert on there? Nah, I'll go ahead and take my alert off. So hit OK. And now you can see I get nice dynamic tooltips as well. So again, hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Have a great day.